Prisma Cloud is a big one because it does so much. So I'll spend a little bit more time on this solution. And Prisma Cloud is a cloud security focused product for your public clouds. So think cloud security here and it taps into your cloud providers via APIs for read only access to your network traffic, user activity and configuration of system and services. So it taps into Azure, for example, or AWS or Google Cloud. And then it will scan all of your resources that you have inside Azure or AWS or GCP. And it will correlate all of this information and it feeds it all back to you to help organization security teams prioritize risks and quickly respond to issues. So what does it do exactly? And because the product does quite a few different things, it's broken down into different pillars. But let's go through the main features and what it has to offer. And the first one is it does cloud security posture management. And this is a set of capabilities across all major cloud providers where security teams are provided visibility and governance through out of box policies. And it provides network anomalies and auto focus integration and enables data classification and malware detection for public cloud storages. If we take a look at the image, we can see a set of policies at the bottom and there's one for Kubernetes and another for GCP. A policy for GCP firewall rule allow all traffic on RDP port 3389. And it has a ton of these policies you can use. So it will tell you stuff like this. And at the top, we can see policies by severity, policy drill down. So you can drill down into all these policies and it will tell you things about your network. The next page is another example. Here we can see network anomalies showing suspicious IPs that have connected to our resources. So you can see suspicious IPs and what resources within our public cloud, what are these suspicious IPs connecting to in our resources? The next one is cloud workload protection. And through the Twistlock integration that Palo Alto acquired a product called Twistlock, there's now a new set of capabilities to protect the workloads. Now you can secure hosts, containers, and serverless functions across the full application lifecycle across multi-clouds or even hybrid cloud deployments. The left image shows workloads protected in a multi-cloud environment, and the right image shows workloads across different environments with direct access to the internet. So you can see the kind of information it gives you back about your cloud environments. You can see all your workloads that are directly connected to the internet. This might be a massive security flaw that you need visibility on. You could have sensitive services that are connected directly to the internet. It does cloud identity and access management security. So it manages cloud identities and managing cloud identities is challenging and has led to numerous breaches. So Prisma introduced a new set of capabilities that helps them enforce least privileged access. So with this, you now have control over the permissions across the cloud. And on the right, we can see an image here showing the detections of overly permissive policies. Cloud code security. And Cloud Code Security does things like it security scans IEC templates for misconfiguration across the development lifecycle, integrating security into integrated development environments. And Prisma Cloud enforces policies of code early through automation, preventing deploying misconfigurations and providing automated fixes. And with Code Security, you can have policies across many of the popular frameworks, including Terraform, ARM, CloudFormations, Dockerfiles, Kubernetes, and so on and across the major cloud providers, Azure, AWS, GCP, etc. And here is an example of an image of build and runtime policies to protect the code. And here's another image, even better because we can see some code now, and it's showing all violations of code across different platforms that it has picked up. It also does compliance and governance, and we can see an image of pre-built and custom compliance checks. So Prisma Cloud provides visibility and control over risks within your public cloud infrastructure and enables you to manage vulnerabilities, detect anomalies, ensure compliance and provide runtime defense in heterogeneous environments such as Windows, Linux, Kubernetes, Red Hat, OpenShift, AWS, Lambda, Azure Functions and GCP Cloud Functions. And the Prisma Cloud secures the following cloud native infrastructures we can see on the right hand side. So just to summarize Prisma Cloud, you can build policies based on compliance standards. You can check for vulnerabilities. You can have an asset inventory I forgot to mention as well. It's got a SecOps dashboard. You can investigate many things such as your top internet resources going out to the internet. We've already seen an image of that. Or you may want to see all of the suspicious IP addresses that have connected to your resources within your environment, which we have also seen. 
you get WAS protection as well, which is the Web Application and API Security Module, which automatically detects and protects microservices based web applications and APIs in the cloud and on premise environments. And Prisma ships with maybe 650 plus out of the box policies. Policies for unusual activities like user activities or port protocol activities, stolen, compromised credentials and so on. It provides an overview on the compliance posture and security in the DevOps lifecycle for CICD, continuous innovation, continuous deployment, which is an approach to rapidly building services in the cloud and deploying them out. Therefore, allowing teams to build applications much quicker and Prisma Cloud can integrate with many CICD tools, providing vulnerability and compliance scanning and integrating security into all deployment builds of application services. So this can protect vulnerable code from being developed and pushed out. It's also again got asset discovery, inventory and identification. It keeps track of all changes of all your resources so you can highlight and pick up of any issues. For example, how many databases do you have in your multi-cloud environments? It can help you with things like that. And there's automated security responses through integration tools to protect the network as well. For example, integration with Demisto and Phantom. Right, let's move on.